Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing my part two of my little zodiac thing. So last time I did the negative traits. Today I'm gonna to be doing all the positive traits or general traits about the signs. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I got a pretty positive response on my last one, so I hope this one is even better. So just make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on my social media listed down below, and I'll probably put it on the screen at some fucking point. I don't really know. I'm gonna have my timer going on because I tend to ramble a lot, so I'm gonna try and cut myself off by looking at the timer every now and then. So yes, let's start with Aries. Aries are super fun loving people really loyal really charming you meet them and when you first meet them You're always gonna think there is absolutely nothing wrong with them because they just seem perfect and uh, Eventually they turn into you know the devil, but that's something else um, But yeah while you're friends with them or in a relationship with them. It's just gonna be all good times laughs um, They're gonna push you to do things you thought you'd never do if you're a shy person They'll kind of get you out of your shell They get you trying new things because they always want to do different things they get kind of bored in one place, I feel. So they just kind of take you along with them and it's always a good time because you just experience new things with them. You always do. I have with every Aries that I've encountered, they're super um, mischievous. They're really like, I don't know, they're, they're funny. They're really funny people. They're crazy, they're open-minded, they are wild, they are good time. If you wanna go do anything with them, they're always down. If you wanna go skydive, if you wanna go jump off a cliff, they're the ones to ask. They're really loving people. They'll do anything for the ones they love. They will defend you to the end. They'll fight a bitch for you. And they're super caring, considerate, and affectionate. Next sign is the Taurus. Tauruses are sensible, dependable, reliable, loyal. Like, they're just the ones to count on. They're really mature. They're always really smart. Um, they're a good time, but they also know how to just, like, chill, lay back. They're usually really good at cooking. They're good at doing, like, everything. Housework gardening cleaning they're just like that person that you want in your life like they're the perfect husband or the perfect wife um if they're like a boy they're usually very masculine if they're a girl they're usually very feminine um obviously there's exceptions they are super like sensual if you're in a relationship with them they're going to touch you a lot they're going to love to hug you kiss you cuddle you um just like make you feel really, really special they like to spoil you because they love the finer things in life they love to give gifts they are all about pleasure feeling good looking good smelling good soft things like they just like pleasure they like to make themselves feel good they like to indulge in things and if they have money they're gonna likely spend it on vacations spa packages like things like that they're all about just like pleasure um they're really cool people they're funny they're mature they're also immature they're silly and they're really weird so they're cool next sign is the gemini gemini's are super fun they're really crazy they're attention seeking but that's okay because they're just like wild they don't care what anybody thinks about them they are unapologetically themselves. They don't care about what anybody has to say. They have no filter. Um, they will tell it like it is. They're really loving and fun. If you're dating one, they're gonna make you feel very special. They like to spoil you to a certain extent. That's only if they really, really care about you and if they are like financially stable. They're really cool people. Like They're the kind of people that you meet and you just kind of wanna be their friend. Um, they are outgoing, so they make you feel really comfortable around them, they make you feel like you can be weird and silly around them, and they're always, like, down for, like, good laughs. Uh, if I had to choose to be locked in an elevator with someone, it would probably be a Gemini, just because they would be really entertaining, and I would just have some good-ass laughs with them, and they're very, um, they're just, like, cool people, I don't know. <laughs> Next sign is the Cancer. Cancers are so kind. They're just such nice people. They're super like social. So when you meet them, like you're gonna just like have really good conversations with them. You won't really find an awkward moment when you first meet a Cancer. They get shy later on, but at the beginning, like it's just like sunshine and rainbows. Like everything's perfect because they're so motherfucking happy and so talkative and they're super nice. Um, going out with them, it's kind of hard to get them to go out, but once you do, they're a lot of fun. But they like to stay in their home a lot. So if you like to chill back and Netflix and chill then they're for you. They're extremely considerate, so they are always thinking about the other person first. They put other people before themselves. They love really hard, they're really emotional, so if you like guys that are little bitches, then go for a cancer because they're super emotional and you'll love that. They'll do anything for you, anything for you. They always have you in their mind as a friend, as a lover. They just like will always be thinking of you and they worry about you. And they're really, really considerate, compassionate people. And they love to cuddle, they love to hug, they love to kiss. They love to just like make you feel loved and shower you with affection. And they are very romantic. So they're really cool for that. They like to surprise you. Next sign is Leo. I don't really like Leos, but I do have a lot of fun with them. One of my best friends is a Leo. Um, they're really fun people, super outgoing. 
super super chill they're down to do anything you can give them any idea and they will go for it they are um wild and crazy so yeah you're you're in for some crazy times with them they're really social they like to talk to anybody they can't really like be alone for too long because they just need to be around people <laughs> um so if you're like that then you'll find a lot of fun in a leo they are really helpful they really 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 like to help you succeed and they're so determined when it comes to things in their life they are go-getters like they go after what they want and they get it and if you doubt them that just adds fire to the fuel like they will like fucking do it 100 percent. if you doubt them on something they will make sure they do it and they will make sure they go back to you and they tell you i did this bitch like trust me it's that's just how they are they're really romantic and they're the kind of people that if you're in a relationship with them they will give you foot massages back rubs make you feel special cook you dinner because they just want to do whatever they can to please you they're people pleasers so yeah next sign is the virgo virgos are super analytical so you can have some good deep conversations with them they always know what's going on so if you are not observant and your head's in the clouds all the time virgos are good friends to have because they notice everything they're really nice people they're super funny super weird open-minded as fuck so you can say anything around them and they will not judge you um they're really kind they can be a little bit fake sometimes they don't mean to be it's just because they want to warm up to you first before they, they let you get their personality they're really funny they say things at the most inappropriate times so it's really they're entertaining people um a lot of them are creative like super creative i know so many virgos and all of them are like actors models painters dancers photographers singers videographers like they do everything like they're multi-talented people and they're like into so many different types of arts and like i think it's really cool because they go after it and they are very determined people and they go after what they want just like the leo and they they usually get it things are usually just handed to virgos i don't know how it works but like things just fall into their lap all the time they always get opportunities they always get things to come to them and it's i'm so jealous of them because like i'll be working so hard for something and they don't really do much but like it just comes to them and it's like i know so many virgos like this but you know what good for them because like i would love that shit uh next one is the libra libras are really 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 nice people they're super open like they will tell you their life story in five minutes of knowing you and if you're awkward like me you won't really know what to say but if you're someone else then you're, you're gonna be all into it like yeah tell me more about your life and your boyfriend problems and this and that your daddy issues like it's really cool because it's not awkward with them because they talk so much and like they just like to fill you in on their life i don't know why but whatever um they worry a lot but it can be kind of easy to talk a libra out of worrying sometimes um they listen that's the thing that's why i like that they're really good listeners they're really good at giving advice they are super kind and loving people they are very loyal to people so they have a lot of long-lasting relationships they're not the kind of people that have a friend for like a month and then like move on to the next friend like they have a lot of long like one of my best friends is a libra and i've been friends with her for 10 years and she's like in a five-year relationship so hey monica so um yeah like libras are like really like loyal people and I don't know if I said much about them, but they're cool people. Super chill. You can have any kind of conversation with them and you'll like a Libra as soon as you meet them. So yeah, they're really friendly and funny and they're not shy. Next sign is the Scorpio. I don't really like Scorpios, but I can say some good things about them. Scorpios will defend you. They will defend you. They are loyal motherfuckers at times. It's like if they really, really love you, they will be so loyal to you. But if they're tempted by something, then they might slip up and they can really fuck you over. This happens to a lot of Scorpios, so like, I'm not talking about one specific person, <laughs> I'm talking about a lot of Scorpios. This happens a lot, um, but they can be really loyal. They love so hard. They love with all of their heart, all of their being, all of their everything. Like, they love like crazy. Um, so sometimes it can be a little troublesome for them because they put too much into like one person. They put a lot of faith in people at times. They're really bubbly and outgoing, so when you first meet a Scorpio, you're going to really like them. Um, you'll probably really like them in the entire relationship. I just don't like them, but everybody really likes Scorpios. They're super charming and confident, overconfident at times, but they're really confident people, even if they're ugly as shit. Um, they are charmers. They know how to get what they want. They can easily manipulate someone, so that's good for them. Um, they can kiss ass to get what they want. See, I have a problem where I have too much pride to kiss ass and I miss a lot of opportunities. But these Scorpios, if kissing ass means that they're going to get what they want, they don't care if they have to kiss ass because in the end, they're the ones winning. So I kind of admire them for that because they get what they want. And it's really cool. Like, I wish I was like that. They never judge you. Scorpios never, ever judge you. 
you can tell them that you murdered someone and they'll be like let me help you hide that body like they do not judge you so it's really cool because you can tell them your deepest darkest secrets uh sagittarius is the next sign and i love sagittarius that's actually my favorite sign i'm super compatible with them they are just the easiest people to have a conversation with like I can sit down with the Sagittarius that I just met and talk with them for like three hours. Every time I meet a Sagittarius, I don't know that they are, and I'm getting along with someone, I'm like, whoa, you're really fucking cool. Like, have I known you my whole life? Yeah, so Sagittariuses are um, so helpful. They want to help you so much. They will go out of their way to do whatever they can to help you do whatever you need to do if you ask them. You'll never feel shy asking Sagittarius for help because they just like, they do it out of the kindness of their heart. Um, they're really giving, caring people. They will put you first, which is really sweet um, to look at them as a friend, but they shouldn't do it for themselves, but you know. Um, they're funny people. They're really easy to get along with, really easy to have a good conversation with. They are loyal to a certain extent. They will defend you because they have such an anger that they just believe in what's right and they want to make sure that they do what they can for their friends and their loved ones in a relationship they will do anything for you you can make them your bitch so have fun with that because they will literally like fucking do anything for you like they become lost little puppies when they're in love and i feel really sorry for them um because i've seen it happen to so many sagittarius they fall hard and they fall hard fast they can fall in love in like a day like it's so sad they fall in love in a day so if you have a Sagittarius don't take them for granted because they are just like extreme lovers so yeah they're really sweet people I really like Sagittarius's they always seem like a bitch just know this they will always seem like a bitch but when you get to know them they are the sweetest they're they're like teddy bears like they're such nice people next sign is the Capricorn <laughs> I don't really know what to say about Capricorns because I don't really like them um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the lighting might be weird or the angle might be different. Uh, my camera just died, so I had to like wait a bit and then reset it. So the Capricorn's a really weird sign. If you're a really weird person, you're going to feel kind of comfortable with one because they're pretty weird, have strong beliefs. They really believe in justice and what's right and wrong. So if they feel like you're like being treated unfairly, they will like defend you to the end. They are really like good in that sense. They are loyal people. In relationships, they usually wear the pants. They're very demanding. <laughs> Um, but they get what they want like they they go after what they want they're really smart people normally and they're extremely organized so if you're a messy ass bitch then you'll benefit from having a Capricorn friend because they're gonna want to like clean everything up for you they have like two different sides to them they um, can be like really awkward and weird but if they're not then they can actually be super charming and just like smooth like it's so weird Capricorns are smooth like especially the guys like if they're trying to get your number like they could be ugly but like you'll be wanting to give it to them because like they're really smooth it's so weird um, they're funny people super goofy super immature you can have like some good laughs with them like they're just like pretty basic <laughs> next sign is the Aquarius which is the best sign ever I don't know if you can tell by my necklace but I'm an Aquarius and when I wore this shirt too to suit my video yeah I'm that guy um anyways Aquariuses are the best they are fucking weird <laughs> like they are so weird you will feel comfortable with an Aquarius right away saying anything like you know that they will not be judging you they're so nice to you when you first meet them like you just feel so comfortable like you just want to be their friend because they're so nice to you You're like oh my god why are you so nice and the thing is they're not fake Aquariuses are never fake they are the realest motherfucking sign you will ever come across like they keep it 100% with you always honest with you if you ask for their opinion on anything they will give you 100% truth sometimes they go on and on and they just talk and talk and talk when you ask them for their opinion they'll just keep going as to why they feel this way like everything behind it it's like okay I understand all I did was say does this dress make me look good um they're super silly immature fun loving weird as hell like weird 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 you will just meet an Aquarius right away and you'll just be thinking like there's something off about this person like they seem really weird but it's the kind of weird that you kind of love because they're just so like goofy like they're quirky that's a word to describe Aquarius is they're quirky like their minds are all over the place it's jumping from one thing to the next to the next to the next like it's really interesting to watch them they like to talk to themselves a lot like if you're an Aquarius you probably talk to yourself a lot like I talk to myself more than I talk to other people in one full day like <laughs> We'll do whatever we want. We don't care what anybody thinks. We will do it. And yeah, we could be making the wrong choice, but we'll still do it. You can't tell us what to do. You cannot tell us what to do. <laughs> if you are trying to tell an Aquarius what to do, they will go ahead and just do the exact opposite. 
even if they don't want to do the opposite they'll just do it just to be like nope you cannot tell me what to do <laughs> it's really funny like if you want an Aquarius to do something for you tell them not to do it see what happens a lot of people just end up falling in love with Aquarius because it's really weird um, I'm not saying everybody falls in love with me it's not like that at all but I'm just saying like it just happens like you just can't help but love an Aquarius because they just make you feel so comfortable and just they're just such great friends they're so loyal they'll do anything for you like they just really care about you and they're so considerate I also have a very strong intuition Aquarius are like pretty freaking psychic um you can't lie to them you cannot lie to them because they're always reading your facial expressions always reading everything you're doing your body language they're over analyzing everything you think they don't notice but they do especially if they're not looking at you they're watching you so just know like you can't get away with lying to an Aquarius like they know they might not say it but they know everything it's really creepy it's like they can read your mind they're really good at pe reading people and everything so yeah Aquarius is, I went on and on but you know it's my sign so what else am I gonna do <laughs> I'm a little bit biased um, next sign and the final sign is the Pisces Pisces people are so fucking awesome like I don't like Pisces anymore because I've had like a lot of bad experiences with so many of them but um, I can still get along with them really well. They're really funny. They're super carefree. They have an attitude, but it takes, you know, certain things to bring it out. Other than that, they're super friendly, super outgoing. They'll talk to anybody. They'll make friends with anybody. Um, super talkative. They love to talk. I think they love the sound of their own voice. They're storytellers. They go after what they want. They're very passionate about things. Super creative people. Almost every Pisces person I know can draw. It's so weird. Every Pisces person that I know can draw. Um, they also like to write, they like to sing, they like to just do a bunch of different things in the arts. Kind of live in their heads, but you know, it's okay sometimes because they go after what they love and they're just really passionate about everything. Like, they're the kind of people that they speak with passion in regards to everything. Like, if they're talking about a song that they love, they'll be like so into that song. Like, I love this song, it's amazing, it's the best song in the world. Like, they just express their feelings towards everything. Like, if they hate something, they're passionate. If they love it, they're passionate. They're just passionate people. So when you're in a relationship with one, then expect that. And they're very romantic and they're really corny. They're really corny. But if you're into that, then hey, like, that's great for you. Um, they're funny. They are super, super funny, super weird they just make you laugh because of the things they say they can be so rude sometimes and it's really entertaining because they're assholes but they're also super sweet so they're really friendly people they're so friendly they'll be nice to anybody like they don't judge either like i think they're like the scorpio in the sense that they never ever judge number one but they also do not ever like they're just loyal they won't tell your secrets they'll take it to the grave with them the only way they ever would is if they think it will extremely like let's say you have a drug problem they think it'll help you then fine they'll do it but <sighs> so anyways that wraps up my video on the 12 zodiac signs if you guys have any interest in seeing more videos like this i might just start like a whole playlist on it and just do videos related to zodiac for a bit um like maybe every other week or something like that like i was thinking to do maybe like a what it's like to be in a relationship with a certain sign or like um, what annoys the signs like stuff like that so if you want to see that then either give the video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to be reading that. I read every single comment and I'm pretty sure I reply to every single one because let's be real I don't have that many <laughs> just subscribe to me please my channel is slowly but surely growing and I want to get it up there so that I can you know make videos that more people can watch so thank you so much for watching my video check out my last video which will be linked down below and at the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed this one thanks so much for watching and as always just stay cute perfect